Contrary to popular belief, I'm not actually insane. The only risks really associated with this high pressure gases, oxidants, extreme cold temperatures, extreme high voltages and explosives. Oh and ozone is also horrifically toxic. But apart from that, there's no other safety concerns. Now, it's a very intimate mix of a fuel and an aggressive oxidizer. How do vibe like a 400, 500 degree temperature change within half a second? I don't know. It's going to create a lot of gas, and if it's a very well sealed container, that's a bomb. <laughs> and we've gone all the way to 102%. 102? We're now at the point where I've done things wrong. You probably thought the mistake was in the maths, but it's actually in the goddamn chemistry. <laughs> See? Fuck. So all up, it is the most flammable, most toxic, and most illegal chemical that I currently own. Nice. How about we just forget about war? for the rest of the video and just do some fun demos, all right? Can, you think we can do that? What about S1? Let's press on and not think about the consequences of our actions. For me, the things I really don't want to work with is physics department. But it's it's currently in physics, uh, the PhD. What? what the fuck are we even making? Whoever you are, fuck you. Throw the sulfuric acid out the fucking window and hope that it would kind of like impregnate the polymer with oxidizer. Buddy, rhodium mm. at the moment. But can you they can blow up? Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Fuck.